<laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a project making a rechargeable battery box to take out in the woods, fishing, camping, whatever it may be. I'm going to be making it with my friend Jason. Now, a few days ago, exactly a week ago, I made this box. I posted it up on TikTok. It blew up. And I know that this channel is supposed to be for bicycle and truck stuff, but if you're doing any bicycle camping, going out in the woods, doing any fishing or anything like that, this would be a great device for charging your phones, for using as a flashlight and anything like that. So today we're going to make another one with more detail than a one minute TikTok video and show you how to follow along. So here we go. So to show you a little bit more about what we have here, this is just a box that I had. I bought this from Harbor Freight. It's their version of a Pelican case. So it's a waterproof box, but that's not important because after I drilled holes in it, it's no longer waterproof. What I did was I installed a 12 volt, seven amp battery into it, sealed lead acid. It can be mounted at any angle. I put some toggle switches on the sides and I put a USB plug out of a car. This is what steps down the voltage from 12 volts to the to the voltage you need for your phones or other devices. These other switches don't really need them, but I decided to add a flashlight into the side and into the top, add a red light in case you needed to get somebody's attention, and then a green light, which is a little bit easier on the eyes. If you were using it at night and you needed some light for putting lures on, or if you're in a tent or anything like that. So that's pretty much everything this is real simple device with this large battery in here it will last for a lot longer than the small ones those have their place absolutely this one can't fit in your pocket but this is a great very rugged device to take out in the woods and use for multiple multiple days with multiple devices all right since this is going to be jason's project i'm going to let him explain what some of this stuff is what his ideas are real quick and um there's going to be a link in the description to all this stuff. Actually, all of this came off of Amazon and so that you can do your own if you want to. So tell us what you got. So Justin's box, I, I really couldn't find a Pelican box that I really liked, but I did find this um, MTM ammo box. It's a 50 caliber ammo box with two latches on one side. And my idea was to put the uh, USB ports and stuff on the top and switches on one side and input and output with... SAE terminals, um, which are just a standard uh, electrical terminal for secure connections and stuff that a lot of solar input and stuff uses. Um, that way, in the future, if I did want to charge it with solar, I could. Um, so this is a 50 caliber ammo case, pretty empty on the inside, no kind of ridges or anything. It makes it easy to Is it got modify. a rubber seal on it? It does have a rubber seal. It is technically waterproof. Okay. So for now. Water resistant, we'll yeah. say. Um, I got two 7 amp hour 12 volt batteries uh, from Mighty Max Battery and um, those are both uh, 7 amp hours so we're going to be wiring these in parallel, is that right? Series. Series. No, parallel. I, I knew I was right. You're right. <laughs> parallel. Um, parallel. So that I'll get a total of 14 amp hours. Um, on still, this still 12 volts. Yes, still 12 volts. So, and if you're military and you wanted to, wanted to have a box to provide 24 volts, you would wire these into series and then you'd get your 24 volts. Because I did have some guys asking me that. So the uh, other stuff that I got, I got a 12-volt um, a cigarette lighter adapter. Um, we're going to use that for an AC inverter. Um, Justin's got a little one here. And that's basically, you know, just plugs into here and uh, converts the DC power coming off the batteries into AC for charging a laptop or, you know, maybe a small fan or something like that. Um, got a USB-C power delivery port and quick charge um, 3.0. The power delivery, uh, I got that because I've got a couple of iPads that require uh, more wattage than the typical USB output. Um, uses and this one this one will supply up to I think 36 watts of power out of that power delivery port um, so the other one is just a, another three series or three pack of um, quick charge 3.0 uh, USB ports and once again just for charging phones and things 
So the other thing I got for my box was a set of uh, strobe lights. They're amber strobes. Um, there's a four pack of them and uh, Justin's going to demonstrate these. They kind of, you can link all four of them in a <laughs> series <laughs> together and they'll all flash in the same pattern. Um, so the, the idea was to put like two on each side of my box so that I could use it as kind of kind of a safety beacon. Um, then we've got, you know, of course the SAE ports. One of them is going to be an output port. Um, because there's so many different things that you can plug in with an SAE port. And uh, I just wanted to have that option for 12 volt. And uh, right here we got the SAE charger. It's just a 12 volt, one amp um, charger that's gonna charge these batteries. And right here we got a inline fuse that we're gonna put to make sure the whole thing doesn't explode on itself. Good call. Uh, also got some some switches. So what we're trying to figure out now is where everything, Jason's been measuring and he knows what's going to fit. We're discussing the the placement of everything. So he wants his his power delivery, um, these three plugs right here, top center. Then he wants the two. Um, put these, these SAE terminals on the, on the side here. One's going to be input, one will be output. Right, don't get that mixed up. Now we've removed the lid, or Jason did. And he's going to have his batteries laid out this way. Um, when I posted my video, a lot of people said, oh, you can't put your batteries like that. These are made for mounting right side up, upside down. These are sealed. No gases off, off put from these. So they are, these they are, are fun. These are literally like UPS batteries. And, and the way they mount in the UPSs is always sideways like this. So, so batteries, stuff, lots of wires. I got to find some... Drill so we can drill some. Battery LEDs installed. This here is some 3M VHB tape. Um, it's just really, really good double sided tape. So that's what I'm going to mount my battery down with. Reds down. Oh, you want it? Yep. All right. I guess. Yep. Yeah, fine. All right. Second that. Got a little storage can place over there now. Yeah. Jason just measured up his lid and has marked his holes for these three power terminals for outputting power, the USBs and the uh, whatever. So we're going to drill holes with a really nice hole saw that I have. And uh, <laughs> we're going to get these laid out. Batteries are in and the uh, LEDs are in on the end. All right. Got the holes pre-drilled. Now we're going to use this hole saw and knock out some holes. One, two, three. The other holes are going to go over here, right? Yeah. All right. If you're wondering about this tool cart that we're working on, you can see a link right up here for that video. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little he's a little new to this. The link's right there. Do you see it? I see it. Okay, good. <laughs> and so that link is gonna show the cheapest teardown cart that I could find anywhere. So it's a nice cart. Alright, let's drill. While Jason is marking up his um, box for more holes, we've got some of the things mounted. I wanted to show you this is a little bit of DC wiring for dummies. So to have a DC component work, you have a battery that should be clearly marked positive and negative. Well, that's a bad reflection. Here we go. Positive and negative. Keep working, Jason. <laughs> the marker. <laughs> well, you should have brought one. So if I hooked up a light bulb, a 12 volt DC light bulb, I would hook up a positive to it, a negative to it and that would make it light up. Now, I don't want it to be lighting lit all the time, so I'm gonna choose one side to put a switch in. Now on my box, I chose to put the switches on the negative side so that all of the positive side would be closed off and would not be open. So all you do is you put a switch in here and you interrupt, or you interrupt the wire right there, and then the switch, when you switch it on, turns the light on, off, turns the light off, obvious. So that's all that this box is doing. Now it doesn't matter if it is going to be a light source, like the LEDs on the side, or if it's gonna be some of these terminals that give power. You don't wanna leave them on all the time because they are drawing 
they're drawing voltage to convert down the voltage from 12 volt to the five or whatever it may be. So I'm not gonna, we're not gonna show all the wiring, just know that everything in the box is going to have a positive and negative going through a switch. The only other thing is on the positive side, we are going to put a fuse here that will interrupt there. The, the power will go through the fuse. And that way, if there's ever a short or too much draw, it'll blow that fuse before it burns up the battery or set something on fire inside the box. So that is our DC wiring for dummies. So these switches have an alignment notch on them and you can either notch the plastic on the side or cut the alignment notch off of the switch and then it could go anywhere it wants. But if you make a notch in your project, then it'll keep the switch from twisting. So we're gonna we're gonna notch that. Alright, so Jason just finished putting all his toggle switches, his different power supplies, and then one port for charging and one port for if he wants to plug something in, like future a solar panel or anything like that. Yeah. So, um, now lots and lots of wiring to do. And I've already shown you how DC works, so you can figure this out on your on your own. We'll show you how it's done. everybody I know that we yada yada past all of the wiring that's going on inside of this box and as you can see there is a lot of wiring going on in this box um, we're gonna wrap it up it is cold out here <laughs> and we've been working too long this is Jason's box and uh, everything is wired up it's got strobes it's got it's got a flashlight on this side. It's got multiple power ports. And as we discussed inside, we have two, two batteries and all the wiring, fuse protected. I'm not gonna get too much into it. This was just to give you an idea of the type of product that you could make that would help you out in the woods, fishing, whatever, camping. Great little thing. Um, he's gonna clean up the wiring on the inside, but just to show you what it'll do, you wanna so let's show us some of the uh, some of the features. So we got our charging port right here. Um, this one and this one are just uh, 12 volt accessory kind of power. Uh, this is an SAE connector, and this will be a cigarette lighter connector for like a AC inverter. Um, these are USB, and those power on just like that. So we got a. 13 volts right there. Um, both of those light up and uh, those off like that. And um, over here, we got a flashlight, just like the ones I used in mine. Pretty cool. We 
over here. We got strobes. <laughs> <laughs> and then this switch here flips on the, the 12 volt accessory power. So this is project done. It takes a little while, it makes a big mess, but in the end, this is something that you can make your own. There's plenty of products on the market that you can buy. This is not the type of project for somebody who just wants to go out and buy something. This is for somebody who wants to make something. That's what this channel is all about. So if you want to see more projects where I make things and have buddies like Jason help me out, then um, subscribe. Uh, give us a thumbs up, comment, tell us what you think about Jason down in the comments below. <laughs> Over here, over here, there's going to be another video for you to watch. <laughs> and Where? subscribe right here. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.